Hi, my name is Cody Brown and welcome to Budget Astro. I just recently found an awesome hydrogen alpha filter for less than $80. Let me tell you more about it in this video. So while browsing through the internet, I came across the Lumicon Hydrogen Alpha Night Sky Filter in the 2 inch variant for $76 on High Point Scientific. This video is not sponsored by High Point Scientific or Lumicon. I bought this filter with my own money for the purpose of reviewing it as well as hopefully getting a fantastic filter for me to use from now, from now on. Now this filter is a long pass hydrogen alpha filter, filtering out everything else but anything in the reds. Like you can see up here on the screen, it filters everything below 650 nanometers. Now being that it is a long pass filter, it won't have as much contrast as say a narrow band filter or like my ZWO dual band filter like right here on the screen where it has a narrow band centered right around the 650 nanometer range. But the reason that I wanted to get this filter is that I wanted to be able to pull in as much red as my camera can throughout a long imaging session and using that red signal, adding it to my RGB images that I'm already using. Now, given the fact that this filter threads directly into my dedicated field flattener for my AstroTag, it makes it super easy to use because I just thread it directly onto the flattener, put my DSLR on the other end of the flattener and get straight to imaging. Now, I've only been able to use this filter for a couple nights now, but already I see a massive improvement in the red signal from my unfiltered images with my DSLR camera. Now I'm not saying that the red signal is increased, I'm just able to pinpoint it more and pull it out of images that would otherwise be saturated by other colors. To further increase the signal in the red channels that I am getting, I would need to eventually get a modified DSLR camera or step up to a larger sensor dedicated Astro camera that's already been modified from factory. But being the fact that this filter was only $76, I cannot complain on what I'm getting through it. It is an absolutely fantastic filter and does it exactly what it said it was going to do. So in that case, I am a very happy, satisfied customer. And I plan to continue to use this filter along with others in my regular setup for deep sky astrophotography. That being said, I hope this video was of some help to you and gave you some sort of insight into this filter so you can make your decision on whether or not you would like to purchase this filter as well.